Hi, it's Tuesday, June 30th, 2020. My name is Noah Seeley, and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be finishing our discussion of yesterday's paper called Rainbow Combining Improvements in Deep Reinforcement Learning by the Google DeepMinds Research Team, as you can see listed here. Before we jump back into it though, if anything related to reinforcement learning still feels a little bit fuzzy, I invite you to go back and check out my two-part series on the intro to reinforcement learning. I'll link it in the description, and they're quick videos that cover the definitions, processes, and applications used in reinforcement enforcement learning. With that being said, we're going to do a quick recap of yesterday, then finish off the paper by covering the integrated agent, experimental methods, analysis, and discussion sections. So in the first part of the video, we discussed the introduction, background, and extensions to DQN sections to the paper. In short, the Google DeepMind team recognized that a large amount of information which has been published has contributed to the improvement of their original DQN agent. While there has been too much research done on combining all of this research, they hypothesized that combining the advancements to the DQN would make a state-of-the-art agent. This is possible because the DQN agent is fundamental to all of the research done on it, which would allow them to add the contributions as extensions to a base DQN agent. The extensions they isolated to include to this agent were double Q learning, prioritized experience replay, dueling networks, multi-step learning, distributional RL, and noisy nets. They plan to test the performance of the Rainbow agent on the Atari Games benchmark, which we have seen in previous papers. So if anything, relating to Rainbow or any of the extensions that I've listed still feel a little bit fuzzy, I would advise you to go check out part one of this discussion and then any of my other videos describing the DQN agent and some of the extensions tested. I'll link all of those videos with labels in the description below for you guys to go check out if needed. Now that we're all caught up though, let's finish off this paper. The integrated agent section starts with naming their super agent Rainbow. The section then goes into a description of how they constructed the agent with the previously mentioned extensions. So they started by replacing one step loss with a multi-step loss. They then combined this multi-step loss with double Q learning. They then added the prioritized experience replay extension, but because distributional rainbow variants prioritize KL loss, they use that to determine which iterations are valuable to keep around in the replay memory. The network architecture is a dueling network, but after the stream aggregation layer, there's a softmax function layer, which is used to obtain the parametric distributions used to estimate the returns distributions as seen in distributional RL. Lastly, the linear layers in the network are all replaced with those noisy layers in order to increase exploration behaviors in the agent, such as we saw in the noisy nets extension. The experimental section starts with a subsection called evaluation methodology, which outlines the testing protocols used on the agent. The team tested with the Atari games protocol, playing the agent on 57 total games using the same network and parameters across all. They kept track of a few stats as well, such as the median score for each game, as well as notable iterations of outperforming humans. They also used the human start technique on the benchmark in order to test for overfitting, which we've discussed in previous videos. The next subsection briefly describes the hyperparameter tuning for the agent. They note that Rainbow had quite a few hyperparameters as it's just a mix of these various extensions. It would have been a lot of work to tune every single one of those hyperparameters. So for the most part, the team just used the hyperparameters suggested in each of the extensions respective papers. The subsection ends with describing most of the hyperparameters used during the training of Rainbow. The analysis section begins with a subsection devoted to comparing the rainbow agent to the baseline of each extensions the agent uses, like against the agents that were published with the double DQN paper, for instance. The results show, as seen on the top row of figure two, that the performance of rainbow is significantly better than any of the baselines, both in data efficiency as well as final performance. Table two shows normalized performance scores for each extension, and with it, we can see just how much better rainbow was able to perform compared to those extensions. Skipping the learning speed subsection, the section ends with the ablation studies subsection, which involved further experiments on the rainbow agent to find out the contributing power of each extension used. We can see the results of those experiments here in figure three. Multi-step learning and prioritized experience replay were shown to be the largest contributors to rainbow success, while extensions such as double DQN and dueling networks were shown to have much less of an impact. They note that the double DQN contributed less as they had already implemented a system to compensate for the over over optimism and overestimation of values in Q learning, which was really the whole point of double Q learning in the first place. Dueling networks, on the other hand, had performance that varied widely, sometimes performing very well and other times not so much. The discussion section starts basically by summarizing everything we've mentioned in the paper. The Google DeepMind team was able to combine many extensions of the DQN agent's research in order to create a super agent called Rainbow, which could outperform the original DQN significantly, as well as the baseline extension agents. They state that all but 
about one of the extensions, we're able to show clear benefits to the rainbow agent. The section then goes on to describe some other extensions of the DQN agent, which may make for fruitful candidates in order to further improve the state of the art rainbow. Just really briefly, these extensions include other forms of reinforcement learning other than Q-learning, changing the sequence of data to improve efficiency, episodic control, exploration methods other than noisy nets, hierarchical reinforcement learning, and modifying the state of representation. The paper discusses a little bit of each topic, which I'm not going to do here. So if you want to learn more about any of them, I'd advise looking at the paper's references section. And who knows, maybe soon I'll have a video on a few of these topics as well. But for now, that's the end of the paper. So yeah, that concludes my discussion on the rainbow contributing improvements in deep reinforcement learning paper by the Google DeepMinds team. I hope you learned a lot from these two videos, but within the paper, there are also some more technical bits that I did not delve as much into. So as always, I've linked all resources in the description below for you guys to go check out yourselves. If you feel that I've missed anything or got anything wrong, please let me know in the comment section below. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow.